Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer This Best, and uh, it's a very windy day today. I was I was looking on Facebook for just a moment, and uh, I told my wife, I said, there's somebody that has uh, put a prayer asking the Lord to calm the winds and protect our property from trees and limbs and, uh, you know, roofs coming off and stuff. I live in East Tennessee, and uh, we had, it actually woke me up last night. The wind was blowing so hard. And I started to see if my wife wanted to uh, go downstairs and sleep because uh, I know I've told y'all this before. My dad, when he was alive, uh, my mom had already passed and my dad was in the bed and he wanted to see what time it was. For some reason, I guess the wind was really blowing. It was a tornado season, spring. And uh, he got up, he had a really old clock. And I don't know what happened to that clock. But anyway, it's really cool. as a Zenith clock, clock radio. And he went to see what time it was. And when he walked over to the chest of drawers to where the clock was at, a huge tree from my neighbor fell into the house. And, it, and the limb, the branch, stuck right in the bed. So scared him to death and scared me to death. I'm sorry. Poor choice of words. It scared us. When I found out what happened, I mean, if he hadn't have got up when he did, he would have been dead. So, but he's passed away since. It's been several, several years ago, but I always, I have a big respect for trees and tree limbs. My wife informed me, Mrs. P.I.B., she said, I just got this truck a few days ago from GM 1038. His name is Brian. Man, it's cold out here too. Uh, it's funny when we got the truck, it was 65 degrees, and it's way, way lower than that today. And the wind is blowing like something crazy. But uh, I was going to show you. Here's the bed. I, I didn't get to show you everything because Brian and his dad were in a hurry to get going. It was getting late in the day when they brought the truck to me. So, uh, but this is the bed. I'm going to put some kind of. Uh, protecting over it, you know. Uh, I've had a lot of suggestions, a uh, marine something, you know, uh, some kind of like a clear coat to protect it. And uh, somebody else made a suggestion, don't forget to do underneath the bed where the wood's at. And I, I did remember that. <laughs> but I always appreciate the help and suggestions. I truly do. When I get all this out, I'll show you the whole bed. It, to me, it's, it's very nice, very beautiful. And uh, Brian... Like I said, you need to subscribe to his channel, GM1038. He got a torch and just went over it, kept going over it a little bit, a little bit, till he had the whole bed torched. And it just looks awesome. Awesome. Anyway, uh, my the reason I come out here, I wasn't even going to come out here, but my wife said, remember, there's a box in the passenger side here. And... Uh, uh, I brought a whole bunch of rattle can paint to Brian because we done the quickest rattle can paint job. I mean, I've got to go over it again, but just so he could do the bed floor. Remember that video on his channel? Uh, I think it was on his channel. One of our channels. Uh, anyway, he, you, you'll see it on his channel, I think. But anyway, uh, he didn't want, of course... Neither one of us wanted when we started painting the wheel wells and stuff not to get any paint on the wood because it's it's just so nice. So we done the fastest rattle can paint job. You'll see some thin spots here and there. I'm not done with the truck. We're, we're nowhere near done with the truck. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to get this box out of here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a bunch of <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff in here and uh yeah there is some paint so i my wife was right i don't need to let that freeze so uh i'm gonna get all this stuff out of here guys and uh i'll show you what i have in just a moment i really don't know what's in the box it's probably nothing much but uh you don't ever know so uh but yeah uh, oh by the way i don't think i mentioned this but that radio that's in here. That radio. Of course, you know it's aftermarket. But uh, I, 
somebody had butchered it, I guess. Well, you know how people do. But, you know, they cut out the radio knobs and where the knobs go and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, whew, dang, it's cold. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of shaking a little bit. Uh, I don't have a speaker for it yet. We was trying to figure out a place to put, to put, <laughs> I get tickled at my own self, guys, to put the speaker. So I'm going to come up with a way or something. I'm hoping this, that's the reason why I'm not pulling this truck out. I'm scared the door's going to slam on the truck about halfway, halfway out. Let me get these boxes out, guys. Hang on, and I'll show you what we got, okay? Okay, guys, it took me a few minutes uh, just picking up stuff. It's kind of dark in the truck. I didn't bring a flashlight. I don't have no electricity out here, so... But uh, I'm glad my wife mentioned the paint. I absolutely, my wife is a lot smarter than I am. I mean, I'll just tell you. And uh, I wasn't thinking about paint. But uh, this is the color this is supposed to be. Almond gloss. It's the same color as uh, my 1984 Chevy C10 truck. Uh, left turn bill. Left turn bill. And the uh, color of this white is a oh gloss white from a Krylon Fusion. So that's what color Brian sprayed in here. I told him I wanted it. I brought in paint just because uh, you know in cases where I'm not able to help which was pretty often I, I didn't get to help a whole heck of a lot. Uh, you know I, I, I brought some paint. Now this is a rough old truck. It's a rough old truck. I'm not gonna tell you any no. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you any different. It's a rough old truck, but it's a it's really a good truck. Uh, I'll do a walk around video sometime when it's not so dang cold and uh, you know the wind's not blowing so hard. But uh, anyway, it's a rough old truck. But at the same time, it's a it's a 1966. It's my first time. To ever have one this body style and uh c10 i've had older and newer ones you know square bodies obs i had 55 6 7 8 uh, well may, mostly 57s but that body style you get what i'm saying i never have had a 49 you know 50 model chevy truck and i never have had one of these this is my first one so it's a rough old truck but i gotta tell you uh it's it's been pieced together the my understanding was the guy that had the truck, the the a couple of owners back, the guy that had the truck, it's my understanding of it. Now I could be wrong, I need stand to be corrected at any time. But they were they took the best pieces off different model trucks to build to make this one. So I mean I know the fenders are different years. Uh you know, the front fender up here. There. Because one of them had the holes already for the, for the, uh, oh my goodness, where's my finger? For the C10 emblem. The other one did not have holes. So, I mean, I, I bought all this stuff to kind of dress it up. Anyway, I'm going to leave, I'm just going to bring the paint in. I'll, I'll go through this another day. It's cold and it's windy and I'm scared the door's going to slam on me. But, uh... There's some more. Uh, there's that radio delete my wife was talking about. And uh, I don't know. That might have been the... Well, I'd say it was cut out where it wouldn't fit. But anyway. Let's see. Uh, Brian put new door locks on it and all that kind of stuff. To... Uh, see what I did. Uh, I'm just looking real quick. Yeah, there's the old door locks. I got new ones, you know, matching keys. And, uh, yeah, there's the other one. He said he couldn't get the ignition to work, so I have an ignition key, you know, two keys. So, uh, that's okay. Uh, no big deal. I'll get another key made with the one that's in it now. No big deal whatsoever. I'm just glad he done it. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to deal with all this stuff later. I'm 
just kind of going through here. That looks like one of them. Yep, it is. For a reverse light. Uh, chrome there. There's his screwdriver. Got to give back to him. I don't know what. I used to know what that was, but I've. Anyway, I used to know. Uh, this is part of the. This truck's got a new gas tank in it, new new fuel lines and all that stuff. Uh, there's not much in there. I might just throw it away. But uh, just gonna tell you what I'm doing today. It's been a few days since I've had the truck home, but we it's it's either raining or it's so cold you just don't want to get out. So I, I promise I'll be doing more videos on this old truck. I guess I, uh, in case you didn't know, I. If you just stumble across my channel, Primer is Best. I, I sure do wish you'd like and subscribe to the channel, Primer is Best. I'm on Facebook, Primer is Best, and Instagram, Primer is Best. Got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget One. I do things on a budget. You know, I, I that's the only way I can do things. And you know, sometimes, most of the time, let me just all the time. I have to sell a truck in order to buy another truck. So, uh, you know, I've, I, I, you know, I, I kind of mess around with those trucks, get them to looking decent, and I'm attracted to trucks that nobody else wants, or has been sitting, or about to be pushed off into a ditch, or you know, going to the scrapyard. I've had all those scenarios in, in my life, saving an old truck or something about an old. Chevy or GMC truck that I'm attracted to ones that are on their last leg or are fix and go to scrap. I can't stand to see one go to scrap. I, I see value in it. Maybe you feel the same way. If you do, you might like my channel. I do things on a budget. I rattle can paint and all that. We're going to make this truck look the best we can. I'll tell you right off the bat, I've, I've got new chains. This one's broke, of course. This truck's been... Uh, it's an old truck. It's a 66. I've got new taillight lens, new bezels. I've, I've got all this stuff, and uh, we'll put it all on uh, first chance we get. I'm just waiting for warm weather. I thank you for watching the videos, guys, and uh, be sure to check out my buddy GM Tim 38 on YouTube. I'm waiting for Tim Dixon. He's on Facebook at Gas X Chop Shop when he tells me that I can bring his truck over to his uh, garage, Gas X Chop Shop. In 10 Mile, Tennessee, when he tells me I can bring it, I will. I, I'd, I'd like for him to fix a couple little places on it and uh, put exhaust on it. It doesn't have exhaust yet. So it's just a one of those deals that I go through nearly every time on a truck. You know, you've got to do this. You're starting from scratch. You, somebody, most of the time on an old truck, has run it into the ground where it won't go no more. They don't put no more money in it. Run it till it drops. Quits whatever falls to pieces whatever that's what i'm attracted to so i'm waiting for tim to give me a shout sometime and he said that he would when as soon as he gets a space uh emptied in his garage because i want it kept inside i don't want the wood to get warped or you know wet you know what i'm saying anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, my name is jimmy i don't know if i said that uh let me know what you think about this old 66 Chevy truck. A lot of people have already tried to give it names. Uh, I'd prefer some really good names. My goodness, some of them is really good. And I appreciate that. It uh, inspires me to keep going. But uh, I'm going to try to uh, refrain from giving this truck a name. I'll have a contest where we give this truck a name. I always name my trucks uh, just to give it more personality, make it feels like it's alive you know after you put so much time and money and it's kind of like raising a kid <laughs> only a lot cheaper the, it don't talk back to you and stuff sometimes like anyway y'all know what i'm talking about if you've had kids it's a it's a that's a full-time job in itself isn't it but this one i'm just kind of taking my time we'll give it a name we'll fix it up best we can on a budget and uh I'm just really liking it. I like the stance. I like everything about the old truck. I'll give it a cold start one day when it's warm weather. But guys, my fingers are freezing. So uh, I'm going to go in. Y'all have a blessed day today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have an old truck like this, 
uh, send me a video of it. If you have an old car or an old truck, send me a video of it, two or three minutes long, uh, of anything. Mercury, uh, you know, Ford, I, I don't care. I like looking at old cars and old trucks. Send me a video, two to three minutes long, to Primer is Best at Comcast.net, Facebook Messenger, Primer is Best, or Instagram Messenger. Instagram Messenger, Primer is Best. Remember, do like I'm doing right now. Turn your phone sideways. You get a full screen. And please, no music or foul language. Send me a video, two or three minutes long. Just talk about it, what you're doing or what you're going to do, or you just got it. It's just however you, whatever you want to say about it. And I'll put it on my YouTube channel for free. I'm uh, hoping somebody will send me some videos of trucks like this, you know, 60 to 60, what, 6? Yep. You know, if you send me some videos of it, you know, maybe I get some ideas here and there. Appreciate y'all's help. And uh, send me a video. I'll let you know when I post it so you can show your family and friends and people you don't like. <laughs> I like to joke around, guys. Forgive me. Y'all have a blessed day today, and I look forward to maybe seeing a few videos now and again, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter. I enjoy watching them. My wife does, too. We just sit down and watch someone's videos of what they're working on gives us inspiration too so uh hope you'll like and subscribe to primer is best and uh i'll be seeing y'all in the next video if you like and subscribe you won't miss nothing and please give me a thumbs up helps my youtube channel a lot youtube will push my videos i'm kind of a slow growing channel and uh you know i, I i'd appreciate it Y'all have a blessed day, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Okay, guys, stay safe, and the Lord is in charge. Please pray for others, and uh, hope y'all have a blessed evening and a blessed day tomorrow. God blessings. See you later.